So what we're going to look at in this lesson is the area of a circle. So if we have a look at this guy here, so this here is a circle and the outside perimeter, if we were to measure around it, this is what's known as the circumference. And we've learned that the circumference, there's a formula for it, it's 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r, which is the radius. Remember the radius is the distance from, if you take this centre point and you draw a line out to the boundary, that distance from the centre point to the boundary, that's what's known as the radius. Now, so it makes sense that, imagine I was to split this in half. So I was to split this circle in half like so. Okay. Another way to think about it is we're getting the distance from here to here and the distance from here to here. Okay, hence 2 pi r. Now imagine if I just wanted to get the distance of just one side of that. Let's say it's just from here all the way around to here. So it makes sense that if 2 pi r gives me both of these sides, then just pi r is just going to give me the circumference of here to here. Okay. Now, imagine we took this circle here and imagine we broke it up into sectors like so. So imagine we split it down the middle and we were to divide this up into into um, even sectors. So something like this. Okay, so something like this, if we were to break it up into sectors, okay, now, and imagine that each of these sectors are even, okay, so it's the same amount. So what we have then is we essentially have, we have six sectors at the bottom and six sectors at the top. Okay, so we have six sectors. Now what we can do is, imagine we were to flatten this out, and we had something like this. So we had something, imagine we were to flatten it out. we'd have something like this. So it's something like this. Okay, so imagine that each of these represents one of the each part of this represents the sector. Okay, so we have six parts of it. So imagine we're taking this and imagine we just have so let's say we just shade these in. Okay, so we have the shaded ones. So imagine these are the shaded ones here. So we can see that we've taken our six sectors and we've kind of like stretched it out. And then what we can say is that, let's say, imagine the distance from, from, from here to here is the radius. Okay, so let's say you have a distance then from here to here which is r, which is the radius. So that's just the distance from the center point out to the perimeter. And that's, if we were to look at this again, so here is going to be the center point, and then this is out to the perimeter. So that's, if you like, the height. And what we can say then is that, let's say if we were to stretch this out then, so the length from here to here is going to be pi r. Okay, so, so remember, it's just like, the distance from here, so the distance from here to here. So we've worked out by using this here 
that this is going to be pi r and then the height is going to be r radius. Now what we can say is that if we think about a rectangle for example what's the area of a rectangle so essentially what this does is it forms a rectangle so if we remember a rectangle the area of a rectangle is just equal to so imagine this is our rectangle here imagine this is our width and this is our length so it's just going to be width multiplied by length so area is just going to be equal to width multiplied by length so that's going to be the area so exactly the same thing happens here so the area of this so if we take this circle break it up into sectors and stretch it out so it forms this shape here the height of the shape is going to be r which is the radius and then the width of the shape is going to be pi r it's just going to be the distance from here all the way to here that's what we're looking at here if we were to look along this this length here so if we take these two then and we multiply them by each other so imagine we have so we have pi r okay multiplied by r that's going to be equal to pi so pi and then r by r gives us r squared so therefore what we can say is that the area of a circle so the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared and that's our formula there that we need that you need to know in relation to when you're trying to get the area of a circle so if we think about what is the area so it's like the space that um that this circle will cover so imagine it's this space here if we think about what's the area of this rectangle so it's the the space that the rectangle will actually cover So what we can say then, um, so the form, so using our formulas, we can say that if we have a full circle, okay, so imagine we have this full circle, so the area of a full circle, so this is my circle here, imagine it has a radius of r, okay, so this is the radius of r, if I want to get the area of this circle, so the area is going to be equal to pi r squared pi r squared okay so that's the formula now also what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to not only get the area of a circle but we also need to be able to work out the area of a, of the area of a a sector for example so imagine i have a sector like so so imagine i was just to take a piece of this circle okay or a sector out of it so again just like the, with the circumference it'll have this symbol uh, this symbol here and that represents the angle that's in here so what we can say is that the area then of a sector so if this is the area of a whole circle it's exactly the same way when we looked at circumference it's going the area of this sector here is just going to be a fraction a fraction of of the area of the full circle and we can look at that like so so it's going to be so the area of a sector Is going to be equal to the angle divided by 360 so remember 360 would represent the whole circle but we're only interested in the amount the, the degrees that we've taken out so it'll be this over 360 which is a fraction multiplied by pi r squared multiplied by pi r squared so that's going to be how to get the area of a sector And just as, as a kind of just reminder, if we think about, so what is area? So imagine this is my circle. So the area is just the space that that, that circle with that radius will cover up. So you're talking about this space here. So that's the area, okay? And then if we think about a sector, so imagine this is my sector. What's the area of the sector? The area of the sector is the space that that sector would cover. So imagine if you had a, a sheet that was in this shape it's the amount of space it'll take up. Imagine you have a sheet that's in the shape of a circle, it's the amount of space that it'll, that, that it'll take up. If we were to look at some examples of this, so imagine I have a circle. So imagine, let me just do this in a different color. So imagine this is my circle. 
that's my circle and it has a radius of let's say 10 so what's the area of this so the area is going to be equal to pi multiplied by 10 to the power of 2 okay that's going to be equal to pi multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 okay so remember 10 squared that's what it means 10 by 10 so that's going to be equal to pi multiplied by 100 which is equal to 100 pi okay and we can just leave it and we can leave it in terms of pi or you can work it out um, all the way right down um, and imagine this was in centimeters so imagine our unit that we're using is centimeters so this is going to be 100 pi centimeters squared okay so it'll be in centimeters squared now if we were to take this sector so imagine like we were to look at an example of a sector so and maybe I might just do that down here if we were to look at a sector So if we were to do the same thing for a sector, so imagine this is my sector. And imagine it's 10 degrees. Okay, so that's the angle that's there, it's 10 degrees. And imagine the radius is five centimeters. Okay, so we want to work out what's the area of this sector. So the area is going to be equal to, so mu, which is this angle that's in here. So it's 10 divided by 360. So that's in degrees, so 360, multiplied by pi, pi multiplied by r, so the radius, so this is going to be the radius. So the radius is equal to um, five squared. So what's this then equal to? It's going to be equal to uh, 10 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 5 fives are 25. So it's going to be multiplied by pi multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. And that's going to be equal to, so let's say 360 divided by 10. Sorry, 10 divided, 10 divided by 360. So if we multiply that out, it's going to be 10. So 10 divided by 360 will be 0 0.028 multiplied by pi multiplied by 25. And then if we multiply this out, so that's going to be equal to 2.2 um, centimeters squared. So that then is the area, that would be the area of this sector. So again, we just take our values and we substitute them into the formula as well. So that's basically how we look at, for example, the area of a circle, how we calculate the area of the circle and how, like where that area of the circle comes from. And then also as well, the area of a circle and the area of a sector as well. So area of a circle and sector. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And thank you for listening.